Shalom. First off, I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High God. True name is Yahweh. In the name of Yahweh Shah, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. In the name of the Holy Spirit, which the Holy Spirit is with comfort and guides us, especially during these time to come. To the men out there, stop allowing these women to get you arrested. Basically, by getting you out of your character. Because it's it's a it's a lot of men that's locked up in jail because of you know dealing with these women in this world, and we got to understand that Satan has a lot of these women. And through the spirit, I came up with this this um to come up with this topic because I was having a conversation with a friend of mine, and he was talking about how the fact that someone that we know, a mutual person that we know, is arrested because of either it was a baby it's a baby mother or an ex that decided to go back with someone that she was dealing with over him and he ended up you know getting into a situation with that person which caused him to be incarcerated and that's why we thank you how about shim was shy the ones that sent his truth because we understand that what we're dealing with and me, I know I'm young, but before I came into this truth, I had experience with, uh, you know, a good amount of women to basically get experience to understand their ways and also run it through the scriptures to when coming into this truth, that's why that boosted my, that's a, one of the things that boosted my belief in these scriptures because I, I never read the Bible for real before then and basically if you um understand get the understanding of this bible you re you realize that it teaches you the reason as to why we go through the things we go through with these women and it tells you you know the ways that you how you should deal with them but it also includes that how the ways that we were supposed to deal with the woman that caused confusion before we disobeyed the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and he put the curses on us. So we can't fully, you know, we can't fully implement our laws because due to our disobedience, the Heavenly Father, like I said, put the curses on us written in Deuteronomy 28 verses 15 on down and he delivered us in the hands of our enemies so this is not our kingdom this is not our rest so we can't do the righteous we can't do all the righteous acts written in the scriptures so as of now we're supposed to rehearse the righteous acts but use the world and not abuse it basically we got to use wisdom while in captivity But, like I said, these women will get you in a world of trouble, especially because of the ways that the devil, that the Bible speaks of, which is the so-called white man who forefathers Esau, Edom, the way his laws are set up, it will cause a man to be incarcerated dealing with these women and their wicked ways. So first scripture I'm going to grab is Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 26. It reads, and this was King Solomon speaking, which was Yahweh Shai in the flesh in that generation. It reads, and I find more bitter than death, the woman. And as you can see, it says the woman. It doesn't say wicked woman or anything. It just say the woman whose heart, which the heart is the mind, is snares and nets. And her hands is bands. Whoso pleaseth Yahweh Bashim Yahusha should escape from her, but the sinner shall be taken by her. See, it says her heart is snares and nets. Because as we, if you have dealt with certain, some women in your life, you understand that they like to play these games and stuff. Like, the whole thing is their goal is to conquer a man. And once they, usually when they conquer them, especially in this kingdom, they go and look to conquer another man. 
which ultimately leads to adultery. And we know if we was able to implement our, you know, our laws 100%, then a woman that goes outside of her husband and sleeps with another man, she's supposed to be put to death according to the scriptures. But like I said, we can't do that now because we're in Satan's kingdom. And if we were able to do that, since people can't, since people get emotional about that, it would, if we were able to do it, because as the scriptures say, that the heavenly father, the laws are not grievous that the, the Lord gave to us, the, a lot of these women wouldn't, you know, wouldn't be out here doing that type of stuff. They wouldn't, they, they, they would, they would be, they would think more before they decide to do certain things like commit adultery. Because the scriptures say, when a man get it for wife, he he be getting for he get it for possession. Because ultimately, when you get a woman, that's your possession. And if another man sleeps with her, it's like you, he's basically you know stealing from you. And anyone would be angry about that. I'm gonna grab Proverbs chapter thirty and verse twenty. It reads, "Such is the way of an adulterous woman. She eateth and wipeth her mouth, and saith, I have done no wickedness." Cause yeah, they they commit adultery, and take no accountability for it. They use excuses, a million excuses as to why they did it. Oh, you don't work enough. Oh, you work too much. Oh, you don't say you love me enough. Oh, you um, you um, too clingy. You you tell me you love me too much. <laughs> it's like you can't win. Like it's like the scripture said, the heart is snares and nets. I'm going to go from there to Proverbs chapter 31, and I'm going to start at verse 3. It reads, Give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways that which destroy of kings. So you're not supposed to give your all to these women, especially in this kingdom. Because as we can see, these women cause a, a lot of men to basically fall off, fall out, go, go fall out of this truth, even during the time of Adam in the beginning. When Eve ate the forbidden fruit and she led it to, to, it to Adam receiving, which brought sin into the world. But like I said, the scriptures say, give not thy strength to woman. But a, a lot of men have to learn the hard way. I'm going to jump back there. And like that, one of that ways is basically one of the ways for some men is to be incarcerated. I'm going to go from there to Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 26. So there's plenty of scriptures you can grab, but I'm just going to grab a few. Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 26, it reads, For by means of a horse woman, a man is brought to a piece of bread. Because you'll go broke <laughs> trying to please these women. And like I said, you'll like, look at, look at some of these celebrities. They make millions of dollars and these women are still not satisfied and mess around and divorce them because of who knows. They they can find any excuse. I'm going to finish on. An adulterous what well, I'm going to start over for by means of a horse woman, a man is brought to a piece of bread and a, the adulterers will hunt for the precious life. Yeah, because these women that commit adultery, they, they don't, it's like they don't have no care for the persons that they commit an adultery with or on because I'm going to get it in the scriptures. They don't understand that how, how anger, how much anger that can, that can cause a man to have. I'm going to jump down to verse 34, Proverbs 6 and 34 for jealousy is the rage of a man. Therefore he will not spare in the day of vengeance. That's why a man are coming to his house from working a hundred hours at the job to one of these adulterous women that he loved and find a whole nother man in the house. She done lied to the man that's in the house with her or she didn't lie to him and the man just stupid enough to commit adultery with her and the man that, that owns the house, pay all the bills, kills him well sometimes the men only they 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 mess around just kill the man and, and 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 go to jail and then the woman still be out here committing adultery or they kill both or they kill all both of them and kill their own self 
That's why I like to say it. The scriptures say, give not thy strength to a woman. Because ultimately, this in these times, like I said, until while we here in this wicked kingdom, we supposed to basically um, rehearse the righteous acts to the best of our ability, repent, seek the Lord. We supposed to be basically doing the work of the Lord, basically pushing this truth so that we can get out of this kingdom. Because our, our Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh is going to send his son, Yahweh Shah, to destroy this kingdom and also use his sword, which is, you know, the missiles from World War Three that's going to kick off. But I'm going to get Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse um, 13. It reads, Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, and keep his whole commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. And we know, like I said, as of right now, we're supposed to be doing the work of the Lord, pushing this truth. And um, basically have faith in Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, because the Lord already said that this is a wicked and adulterous generation. So you got to understand that these women are adulterous along with these men, especially the two thirds that's not hearkening to this truth. So if you're going to deal with a woman, then you got to you gotta basically understand that there's certain things that can possibly come with that situation. This is a, um, scripture, one of the scriptures I like to grab on that too because... I mean, it's easy to say because you know we in the flesh and we and we love women. They, some people think that the the Israelites hate women, especially you know the Israelites, great millstone who got a hundred percent truth. They think that we hate women, we actually love women, but we understand what comes with the situation, and we just you know give them warning. You know, you gotta warn the flock. So if you want to deal with these women, you got to, you know, come with, deal with what comes with it. But like the scriptures say in Ephesians um, 4 and 26, is, it reads roughly paraphrasing, be ye angry and sin not. I'm going to grab um, Sirach of Ecclesiastes chapter 26 and verse 11. It said, watch over an impudent eye. Basically, it's talking, you know, that's one that has no respect or no for the for the basically no respect and it's talking about the woman watch over an impudent eye and marvel not if she trespass against thee see so if she does that commit adultery don't marvel because like i said it's a wicked and adulterous generation she will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler when he have found a fountain and drink of every water near her and we know what water that's talking about by every hedge will she sit down and open her quiver against every arrow so, like Apostle Taha said, unless you got a a damn, I mean, a, a virgin, a chastity belt, security cameras, and spies watching the woman, like more than likely, she's she's gonna probably trespass against you, especially in America, which is spiritual Egypt, Babylon, the Great, etc. They push, they 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 push wickedness. They they. They, they they basically give you praise for doing wickedness. That's why we pray to be more like Yahweh Shai. Because as we know, Yahweh Shai, when he was on the scene, he didn't deal with a woman. But like Yahweh Shai said, only only people, only men that can, you know, some majority, most, basically most men that can do that is they got to have a special spirit a gift from Yahweh Shem Shai to be able to, you know, go without dealing with a woman. And the Apostle Gabai and some of our elders say that they're not dealing with women. They're going to wait for the kingdom. But I'm going to grab First Corinthians chapter 7 and verse um, 6. This Apostle Paul is speaking, it reads, But I speak this by permission and not of commandment. For I would I would that all men were even as I myself, but every man have his proper gift of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, one after a manner, and another after that. I say therefore to them, Murray and the widow, it is good for them if they abide even as I, but if they cannot contain, let them murray, for it is better to murray than to burn. 
So Apostle Paul was basically saying that he he would rather that a person not a man not deal with a woman, just like him. But like like I said, like him and Yahweh Shah said that, that that you would have to you know have a spirit for you on you to be able to do that from Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. But yeah, like I said, but the the whole point of the um, lesson is that these men need to stop allowing these women to get them incarcerated by the games that they play, because that's ultimately what Satan is going to use them to do to basically destroy. Like I said, give not your strength to a woman or your ways to that which destroy kings. And as the scripture say in first address chapter four and verse twenty six, it said many have ran out of their wits for women. So a man will mess around and lose everything for a adulterous woman that then you know slept with a hundred men. And then once she do it and he then lost his life for it, and if she's still living, she'll mess around and just bounce to another man. And that's what you gotta keep in mind. So like I said, we supposed to be doing this work. The work of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, pushing the pushing um this truth, trying to wait, wait for the kingdom, because in the kingdom we're we're gonna get you know pure woman, and they're not gonna commit adultery and, and sin against us because especially well the Israelite woman because the law, statute, commandments are gonna be written in the in our inward parts, so we're not gonna go off none of us. That's gonna be in the new covenant and. Of course, the heathen are not going to have the law of the commandments hit, written in the inward parts, but they're going to basically follow after our ways. And if they don't, then they're going to be punished. But I'm going to grab um, 1 Timothy chapter 5 and verse 14. The point is in 15. I will therefore that the younger woman marry, bear children, guide the house, give none occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully. And... A lot of these women, they don't even want to stay home. They want to be outside partying and, and yeah, committing adultery. For some are already turned aside out to Satan. So, like I said, the whole point is that Satan is going to use the woman, the weaker vessel, because he wants, he wants the men of the Lord to fall out and not push this truth. But, of course, we know that the Lord... Is going to deliver the elect of the nation of Israel, which the Israelites are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and the Israelite foreigners that look like the heathen, but are not because their father sea line traces back to one of the 12 progenitors of the 12 tribes of Israel. The Lord is not going to let, let the elect men be deceived by these women to be destroyed. Because a lot of these men, uh, 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 well, a good amount of these men are going to, you know, when that Karagma come out, the MOTB, they're going to take it because they're going to want to continue to make money and, you know, buy and sell to please these women or feed their family, feed their woman. But as the scriptures say, the Lord said, if you love your family, love your woman, anything, your, anything more than Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, then you're not worthy of the kingdom of heaven. So... Like the scriptures say, if you take it, you're going to be destroyed. So, like I said, we're supposed to be married to this truth. Stay focused to this truth. Not focus on these women. If the Lord sends you a woman, okay, deal with her accordingly. But as far as in putting her before this truth, that's a big no-no. Because then, ultimately, the Lord can allow that woman to pull you out of this truth and then you end up being destroyed anyway because we know as the scriptures say you fall out of this truth it's better that you didn't know the truth because then the demons stronger demons hop on you and then you be bugged out you mess around fall out of the truth for a woman the lord put the spirit on her to leave you then you just out there looking stupid because the Lord controls all. That's what people don't understand. Proverbs 20 and 24. The man's goings are of the Lord. And that's com that includes these women. Everything is of the Lord. The Lord's spirit, incorruptible spirit, is in all things. So you choose, you choose 
anything outside of the Lord if you want to. And then you're going to feel the wrath of the Lord. And like I said, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. But that's all I got. Call Haloim La Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Rakakwadash. That will honor our apostles and elders of great millstone teaching rule well with truth and sincerity and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.